वेलकम टू इंजीनियरिंग फंडा फैमिली दिस वीडियो इज अ पार्ट ऑफ नेटवर्क थियरी लेक्चर सीरीज एंड इन दिस वीडियो आई बी गोइंग टू एक्सप्लेन यू वन वेरी इंटरेस्टिंग प्रॉब्लम बेस्ड ऑन ड्रॉइंग ऑफ ग्राफ फ्रॉम गिवन कट सेट मैट्रिक्स नाउ माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स यू शुड नो फर्स्ट वॉट इज कट सेट मैट्रिक्स एंड वॉट आर द एसेंशियल की पॉइंट्स ऑफ कट सेट मैट्रिक्स देन यू कैन ड्रो ग्राफ बेस्ड ऑन कट सेट मैट्रिक्स so here all those key points that i'll explain you step by step so let us see the question here first so if you observe we are having cut set matrix over here and you should know vertically we are having cut so here we are having total four cut let us say c1 c2 c3 c4 and horizontally we are having branches so let us give naming to branches a b c d e f and g now my dear students here you should know some key points regarding cut set see cut set is having twig and links and if you reorder cut set matrix in proper way then twig is having identity matrix and links is having some values but twig should have identity matrix so now what i'll do is i'll rearrange this cut set matrix in such a way that first there will be identity matrix after that there will be column wise branches those are links so let me show you that step by step so it will be more clear so now with cut set matrix i'll be writing identity matrix over here so what is identity matrix it is having one diagonally and rest elements will be zero so this is my identity matrix now i need to check which are the branches which are there with as per this identity matrix so you can observe 1 0 that is there with branch d so i'm writing d over here now 0 1 0 0 so that is there with branch g so i should be writing g over here now 0010 00, that is there with branch e so i should be writing e over here and 0001 so that is there with branch a so i'm writing a over here so now you see this g e a and d is covered so now we are left with branch b c and f so let me write b c and f over here now let me copy this elements over here so you can observe this is my identity matrix and this identity matrix that is referred as twig of cut set matrix you should know this identity matrix are having data of twigs and these are the data which is there with links now here cut set wise there is no issue it will be there in that order only 1 2 3 and 4 but now branches are there with reordering as per twigs and links now my dear students i'll explain you how to identify number of nodes so for that my dear students you should know what is the meaning of links links means what it gives you total number of loops so here how many links are there 1 2 3 means total number of loops are 3 and you see how many branches are there so branches are 7 now once you have total number of loops and branches then you should know this relation loops is equals to branches minus node plus 1 this relation is very essential you should know this in competitive examinations many questions are coming based on this equation so loops is equals to b minus n plus 1 so based on that we can identify value of n as per l is equals to 3 that is equals to 7 minus n plus 1 so i can say n is equals to 7 minus 3 plus 1 means 5 so total 5 nodes are there with given diagram now my dear students 
when you identify total number of nodes first of all all you need to do is you need to place nodes and as five nodes are there it will be very essential that you should place location of node as per i am plotting it over here so you just keep one node over here and place four nodes on vertices of square it will be convenient for you if you place it like this now my dear students what i need to do is i need to explain you cut set wise connection so first of all you see there are four cuts so you should know with cut set matrix you should provide cuts from the side of vertex see this is what you should keep in your mind if you cut it at center then it will be very difficult to provide connection of nodes so you just think in this way you should be providing cuts like this right now secondly with cut set matrix you should know with every cut there will be only one twig and rest link you see over here even with c1 we are having one twig and one link with c2 we are having one twig and two link with c3 we are having one twig and two links that is how it is there so as there is one twig you should be providing connection of twig towards center so it will be convenient for you to draw graph right this is just analogy which i am telling you even if you connect it somewhere in that case you can draw the graph but your graph will not looks proper so here let us check it with c1 so you see i am providing c1 over here and with this c1 we are having one twig that is d so what i'll do is i'll provide connection of d at center and there is one link which is f so f i am connecting it over here you see i'm not showing direction right now i'm just connecting it now let us see what is happening with c2 so if you observe c2 then you see c2 is having f c and g so it is already having f and f is connected over here so obviously i should be providing c2 over here now when i provide c2 over here you should know with c2 we are having one twig that is g so you should connect g towards center so that it will not interfere with rest diagram and another link is there which is c so let us connect c with this node over here so now see with c2 we are having c over here and we are having g over here that is my twig right now let us check it with c3 see so if you observe c3 is having b and c as link now c is already covered here so i should be providing c3 over here now with c3 i am already having c so all i need to do is i need to connect b so b should be connected over here this is my b which is link and we are having twig that is e with c3 so twig should be connected towards center so that it will not interfere in between graph now we are having last cut set that is c4 now when you talk about c4 it is having b and a now b is already over here so i should be having cut set over here which is c4 and if you want to have a then a twig that you that should be connected at center why it should be connected at center if you connect it anywhere then it will come in that cut set but if you connect it towards center it won't interfere so what i want is you should connect twigs towards center and you should provide cut set on the edges that is how you should have your mindset when you draw graph from cut set matrix now my dear students i'll explain you how to have direction so let us see what is happening with c1 so with c1 we are having one twig that is d and one link that is f so let us say this is d which is having direction like this which is inward so cut set direction is there in the direction of twig that you should know 
so cut set direction that will be inside direction and now you see we are having f f is minus 1 so f is having opposite direction to the direction of cut set so cut set is inside so f should be outside so now we got the direction of f now let us see what is happening with c2 so c2 is having f c and g and all are plus 1 so f is there inside so cut set direction should be inside right and as cut set direction is inside this g should be inside as well as this c that should be inside now we have covered f g and c with c2 so let us check it for c3 so with c3 we have b c and e now we already have c and you see we are having e and b also all are plus so c is plus means what cut set c3 is there in the direction of c and as all are plus e should be there in the direction of cut set and b should be there in the direction of cut set so you can observe i am providing direction as per cut set now we are having cut set c4 so cut set c4 is having a and b and both are one so b is there in this direction so c4 will be there in inside direction of this cut set so a that should be also inside direction so as per cut set now you see i have obtained the direction of entire direct diagram so here there are many fundamentals that you should know my dear students when we talk about cut set matrix inside there is identity matrix that is a matrix of twigs and then whatever matrix is there that is a matrix of link and my dear students you should know links are total number of loops so l is equals to 3 you can have branches so that is total number of branches and based on that we can identify total number of nodes we can connect node over here and you should know if five nodes are there you should place it like this if four nodes are there then you should place it like this center node should be eliminated right now you should know cut set matrix is having one twig and rest link so remember this you just try to connect twig towards center remember this just try to connect twig towards center so that it will not interfere in between and provide cut set at outer boundary this is what you should keep in your mind once you provide connection as per c1 c2 c3 c4 i have explained you should check out for direction now there are always two possibilities of direction right so if you consider first element as this then direction will be this but if you consider first element as opposite to this then all the elements will be having opposite direction remember this so my dear students these are the basic steps that you should follow to have a diagram of oriented graph from cut set matrix i hope you have understood this still if any confusion is there just place that in comment box i'll be happy to help you thank you so much for watching this video